Hi, good day everyone. So I'm Surya here from Yashkri. So I'm going to share you all a simple dish called spicy soya sauce. Fish. It's a very simple. Try it and give us a feedback. So all we need for this is uh, fish definitely and of course Yashkri spinach oil. Why Yashkri spinach oil is because it gives you a very good taste for any Chinese cooking. So we're going to use approximately 5 tablespoons of Yashkri spinach oil uh, to actually fry the fish and also cook the dish okay so you guys can see i'm going to add about five tablespoon into my nonstick pan so now we're going to fry the fish which already marinated with turmeric and corn flour see uh, after frying the fish i actually use about 14 uh, cut tengiri cut okay so see the leftover of the oil so here we go we are done with frying the fish now we're going to mix the sauce which is a very important element for our cooking so you all see, I'm actually using 2 tablespoons of oyster sauce, 2 tablespoons of sweet soya sauce, 2 tablespoons of caramel and of course my favourite 2 tablespoons of ghee hyang sesame uh, oil. Okay, it's a Chinese sesame oil, a part of Yashkri sesame oil. I also love their uh, sesame. Okay, so here we go. We are going to add in all this. 2 tablespoons each, okay, the ratio is, we're going to mix it together, okay, so let's see, how do I mix it, okay, after mixing all this, we're going to add approximately about 10 tablespoons of water, just to mix them, okay, just to mix them well, mm, okay, we are almost there, we're going to mix all this together, Mm -hmm. So this is my ghee here, okay? I have actually used it. Uh, I love this smell. Especially for any Chinese cooking, I love this, okay? So here we go. We're going to mix with tab 10 tablespoons of uh, warm water, any water, filtered water. So I'm actually using 10 tablespoons. Uh, okay, here we go. So we already mixed well, okay? We have mixed well right now and here we go this is how it should look like okay for 14 piece of tangiri cut okay i'm using so i'm gonna add a little bit more you may add a little bit more if you find it you know um, if you want to add extra sauce into your dish okay now we are done so now we use the same oil to cook our dish so we need uh, one onion 5 chili padi, 1 red chili and of course uh, minced garlic ginger okay minced uh, about 2 tablespoons now what we're going to do we also need approximately 2 teaspoon corn flour mixed with the water and of course our sauce is ready and also fish which we already fried so you guys can actually see the amount of oil left over after we frying the fish okay so we only need about five tablespoon and you guys also can see um make sure it's uh, hot huh? because uh, okay see the oil amount and look at my fish uh, see it's not dry and the oil is not absorbed into the fish as well that's a plus point of your free oil here so we are done with that so now we're going to start cooking okay we need to actually um, saute the ginger garlic until it's like you know smells uh, good okay we are here so let's stir Okay, now I'm going to add in the onion, of course. Why I use this onion? I like the crunchiness of it. And also, I'm going to add the chili padi and my red chili into it. And I'm going to stir. <clears throat> okay, just... Uh saute until uh, you know your onion is cooked not so cooked but it's just like half of it and okay i think it's almost done okay now what we're gonna do is 
Uh, okay. Okay, we are done. So now we're going to add in the fish. So we throw all the fish into our onion. Okay. Gently or either just can drop it. Okay. Okay, we are done. So now I'm going to, you know, gently stir my fish with the onion. My mistake, I have actually selected the wrong pan. So if you guys are bigger, if you, you guys can actually use a bigger pot. Okay. But anyway, as long as the uh, dish tastes good. Okay. So now I'm going to add in the mixed soya sauce into my fish. Okay, here we go. So make sure everything is in. Especially the dark caramel, it doesn't mix well, okay? So you guys add in and add in the uh, corn flour which we already mix it. This helps to thicken your sauce, okay? We, we don't need to you, uh, cook so long because the fish is already cooked just now, right? We already fried the fish, right? So we are almost there. So just cook, cook about, uh, um, stir about a few minutes until your sauce is thickened up, okay? See, it's already thickened up. So I'm going to garnish. I will be garnishing shortly. So let's wait for at least about a few minutes, okay, until your sauce is thick. Okay, we are done. So here we go. We are done with the garnishing. And our spicy soy sauce fish is ready. So here we go. How it looks like. Thank you for watching.